So I wanted to talk to you about the after effects of bullying today because what I don't think people realise is that there is so many things that can still go on after the bullying is finished and so I wanted to talk to you today about sort of my after effects and what I sort of do to deal with them. I want to start on the positive side of things because I really look at my bullying as sort of a positive and negative thing so I'm going to start on the positive side. Um, I have had so many opportunities because of this and what I've been doing. Um, I have been doing these videos for three years because of what I went through at school and my sort of desire to be able to help other people. I wanted to be able to be a voice and somebody that people can trust and come and talk to. So from doing these videos I have just been given incredible opportunities. I did Channel 4 last year, MTV International wanted to do a show with me last year and then I did an interview at Heart FM a few years ago and I just, it blows me away that I get to do these things because without you guys none of it would have really happened and it's just amazing that your support and your love just keeps me going that little bit further and it just it's incredible so thank you. Um, another thing is the friends that I've made. I have made so many friends through doing these videos it is ridiculous. I have literally, I can't even go into how amazing it is to be able to become friends with these people that send in their stories and they're telling you what's going on and you start helping them and then you build up this relationship and it's just been so amazing because some of these people are some of my closest friends and I love them to bits and another thing as well is the people that I've been able to help over the past three years I have received so many messages from people asking for advice and help and support and I've been talking to them and it has been so incredible to be able to help people that are going through what I went through at school and it's just been amazing a little another thing on the positive side before I finish this part is that I want to tell you all that it does get better. I swear it gets better. It's just you have to just keep going and be brave and be strong and it does, I promise. On to the negative side of things, sorry to take a downhill slope. There are so many negative after effects that I don't think have enough attention because of bullying and I wanted to discuss them. There are a few that I go through and the first main one is depression. I suffer really badly with it and it goes in sort of waves and you can normally tell if you're following me on Twitter you'll be able to tell when I'm really depressed because my tweets just show it for a couple of days. Um, another thing is anxiety and panic attacks. I suffer with that really badly and um, I have been since I was about 13 or 14 years old and they tend to come on at night when I'm trying to sleep, um, which I'd also don't do because I have insomnia now because of my bullying. Um, I will come back to that. But my panic attacks can get me normally at night, but they will normally also get me during the day. Um, I don't tend to get them as much when I'm out of the house because I don't sort of sit and dwell and my brain is in different places. Um, it actually took me a while to sort of not have sort of anxiety on the bus I'm still sort of just starting to get over that a little bit more now but it used to be really bad sort of last year when I was trying to get on the bus the anxiety was awful and um, another thing that I suffer with really badly is insomnia and I've had my insomnia since I was about 10 years old and that came from being bullied I literally would not go to sleep at night at all because I'd be worrying about going to school the next day and on a Sunday night it would be just as bad and now I just don't get to sleep till like 5 in the morning um, which is really fun when you have to get up at 7 for college by Friday I am a zombie because I just have no energy where I'm not getting enough sleep but we are working over that at the moment and I'm trying to sort of slowly reduce my bedtime so that I go to sleep a little bit earlier. Um, and the last thing is suicide and suicidal thoughts. As I was being bullied, of course, it was something that I really struggled with, was feeling like I wanted to kill myself and I didn't want to be here. And in some of the worst cases, you see people actually 
commit suicide because they're bullying and one that really struck me was um, Jamie Rodemeyer last year. He was I think 13 or 14 and he committed suicide and his sister came home and found him hanging I think in their garden and it was just awful. It broke my heart. I literally cried for a good straight three hours that night I found out he'd passed away. Um, because I actually watched Jamie's videos on YouTube and it was just awful. Um, another one as well was when I was doing the MTV documentaries. Part of the documentary was about a man whose 12 year old had killed himself and he was being bullied and he'd got sent home from school so the wife picked up his son and took him home and then she had to go back to work and when he got back from work a little bit later he discovered his son dead on their bedroom floor and he'd shot himself with one of their shotguns and it was heartbreaking but this man had taken this story and turned it around and was teaching schools about it so that they could reduce their bullying and make children realise how bad it can get if they do these things which I don't think they did enough of at my school and I really think that more schools should use stories like theirs because that's what could save lives and they don't do it. My last little bit is inspirational people and these are people that I sort of look up to because of their work for anti-bullying and everything else and the first one is Lady Gaga which everybody's gonna be a bit like <sighs> but she has a foundation called the Born This Way Foundation which is helping to raise that bit of awareness to show everybody that nobody is perfect and I think that that is really inspiring and incredible because she does a lot about looks and things because she gets a lot of stick for being the way she looks and I just think that it's amazing that she's trying to share that message to not only young girls but everybody and tell them, telling them that they might not be perfect but they are beautiful and it doesn't matter if you're not stick thin and what is perceived to be beautiful, everybody is beautiful and I think that that is amazing that she does that. She also did a lot of work when Jamie Rodemeyer killed himself. She actually put his picture up at the concert I think and said a lot about him and I think that, that was really inspiring and amazing and I, re I really look up to her. The next one is Ellen DeGeneres which might not surprise a lot of you. I have wanted to talk to Ellen for such a long time because she does incredible stuff for anti-bullying. She raises so much awareness that it literally amazes me. I wish I could have that sort of power to be able to do the same things as her. And I would, I would love to talk to Ellen about these things because I just think that we would be able to just talk about making a difference and it'd be really good. Um, I just, her videos, she puts up a lot of videos and she has stories from families. And I'm gonna link a few of her videos down in the down bar and just go watch them because she is incredible. The last thing I wanted to talk about quickly was fandoms, which a lot of you may now be thinking, oh, Becky, but I think that being a fan of something and getting involved in their sort of fandomness stuff can really help someone. I, I'm doing a video tomorrow, so I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what's going to happen, but joining a fandom can make you feel like you're part of a family, and it's mm, that support that people might not get at home, they can get in their little tight-knit bundle of people who like the same things as them and it can also help them to take their mind off the bullying and I just think that's amazing. That was the effects of bullying and whatnot. so thank you for watching and the tomorrow's video will be a good one so stick around and watch that. Okay.